I saw another kid in roller skates charging straight at me. I just sat there frozen in horror when suddenly someone pushed me out of the way. While we were doing an experiment, a test tube slipped from my fingers and almost fell on me when Eric pulled me to his side and I fell over him. My foot slipped and I almost fell to the ground when someone caught me mid-air. Eric! My story animated. The last time I made a video on them I was at 10 subscribers or less. I now have over a thousand and I cannot thank you all enough. The growth is unreal. I haven't even registered it yet and it's been two weeks. This has truly shown me what anyone is capable of if only they have a platform to share their capabilities with. I'm thankful to have this fan base who find my content truly entertaining and I will do my best to provide you with more. I love you all, honestly. But enough of this soppiness, let's get back to the video. My Story Animated is a YouTube channel with over 8.5 million subscribers with whom they share animated stories on a daily basis. These stories are watched mostly by young children, although some of their content would indicate that their target demographic is not children. Today we'll be watching one of their videos titled My Boyfriend Thinks I'm Made of Glass, which once you watch the video turns out to be an irrational exaggeration of the situation. I hope you enjoy, let's get right into this absolute cringe fest of a story. Hi, I'm Noor from Pakistan. Please like and subscribe. Ahem, you heard her? I was 17 when I moved to the US with my family, and even though my parents were worried about me adjusting here, I was super excited about my new life. On the first day of school, as I walked down the busy hallway, a girl bumped into me and dropped all of my books. That is some utterly amazing and creative writing, not cliche at all. As I started picking them up, I saw another kid in roller skates charging straight at me. I just sat there frozen in horror when suddenly someone pushed me out of the way. What school in the US is she attending where anyone can just roller skate through the hallways at high speeds almost running other students over like it's nothing? In every school that I went to you weren't even allowed to run in the halls, let alone fucking roller skate. I looked up to see the cutest boy I'd ever laid eyes on smiling down at me. Hey, are you okay? Did you hit your head? Do you feel dizzy? Wait, remind me of where she is again. Didn't she say she moved to the US? That guy sounds like an Indian with a speech impediment and since he's white as fuck, I doubt that was intentional. If that was an attempt at an American accent, then it was nothing short of abysmal. Well, I did, but I don't know if it was the fall or his smile. Hey. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Thank you for saving my life. Suddenly, he leaned in closer. Wait, was he gonna kiss me? I was ready for it, but to my embarrassment, he just reached over and picked up his sandwich lying next to me. What? The narrator is telling this story about herself, so if she has an accent in the story, then where the fuck is her accent in the narrative parts of this video? And also, I want to point out that this makes total sense whenever I'm sitting opposite from a girl and need to recover a sandwich. I always lean in for a kiss first, although the sandwich is next to them, just to make them want me even more. More. Must have dropped this while saving your butt. <laughs> I would have been really sad if I'd lost it. He helped me to my feet, winked, and left. Wow, that was a dramatic start. Later in class, the teacher asked me to introduce myself. Before she fainted, cause she lost so much fucking blood that she's as pale as a Gen Z goth. But when another really cute boy winked at me, I just went blank. As I was trying to think of anything to say, a girl started cackling. Geez, where is she from? Does she even know English? I wasn't gonna let some big mouth ruin my first day at school. Oh my god! You're just like those girls in American movies. You know, those mean girls in high school who always get their butts kicked in the end. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm starting to feel like D&D &D wrote this because only they would be so dumb as to confess to their viewers that their plot is just a fest of movie cliches and a lack of creativity. The girl's grin turned into a deadly glare, and just then I saw the guy who'd saved me before, and he was laughing at her. Ouch, that's got a burn, Pot. When I went back to my seat, he poked my shoulder and introduced himself as Damien. And all of this happened without the teacher interfering because she's bleeding out on the classroom floor. And later he showed me the way to the cafeteria and even grabbed a food tray for me. This guy was so nice. 
He then told me everything about the school and that girl Patricia. She was the school's queen bee, and that boy that winked at me was Eric, her boyfriend. Ew. Boys in high school relationships flirting with other girls, cliche. After that, Damien and I often hung out and studied together, and in no time we were really good friends. One day, as I was going to my class, I saw Pat on the stairs with her groupies, bullying a girl who was in tears. Hey, what are you guys doing? I don't know about you guys, but that accent gets me every single time. She's just talking with her mouth shaped like an O. You can't tell me that's an authentic Pakistani accent. She's just trying too hard. Oh, how come the damsel in distress is here all by herself? Is the great Damien not with you to protect you today? What does that even mean? You're dumber than you look. Don't you know why the hottest guy in school is your friend? It's because he thinks you're too weak to protect yourself. Yeah, he begged me to leave you alone on your first day. And that's also why he hangs out with you all the freaking time. Even if that was true, weren't his intentions pure nonetheless? He might have perceived this new girl as incredibly introverted and shy and just thought she could use some help if ever she got into trouble. How the fuck is that a bad thing? It's called chivalry. What? Was that what Damien thought of me? Just then, I saw Damien come up the stairs, and he'd clearly heard everything. Listen, Noor, I, I can explain. Oh, everything is clear, Damien. Did protecting me make you feel good about yourself? Oh, well, you can go be someone else's bodyguard. I can take care of myself, thank you very much. And with that, I stormed off angrily and planned to ignore him for a very long time. That's got to be the ugliest angry face I have ever seen. A few days later, I was paired up with Eric for an experiment in the science class. There were rumors that he and Pat had broken up. Oh, how strangely convenient to the plot that is. Also, one would think that the animators of a channel as big as My Story Animated, which is also supposedly based in the US, would know how to spell the word happened. But she kept giving me death glares all the time he sat next to me. While we were doing an experiment, a test tube slipped from my fingers and almost fell on me when Eric pulled me to his side and I fell over him. How are they not wearing any protective gear at all for experiments with supposedly dangerous chemicals and liquids? Also, is that a fucking tumor? And Pat jumped off her seat like it was on fire. Girl, where have you been all my life? Hiding from you. I pushed him away and left the class. That was not a push, that was a slam. You probably knocked him unconscious and broke several of his ribs. I didn't want Pat's sleazy ex or more drama, but it wasn't like I could avoid it. We were having elections for student council in the coming weeks, and I entered my name for the same position that Pat was competing for. So you most certainly could avoid it, but actively chose not to. There were several positions to be filled in student council, as you just insinuated, but you decided to compete for the exact same position as Pat. That's on you, love. Oh, you think you can win. That's cute. Right. I am really cute, and it's gotten me very far in life. But yeah, if the position can only be filled by a bad dumbbell witch, I'm sure I'll win this year too. Ugh, I'm gonna. Easy there, Pat. Kids might not vote for you if they see you going all wild on me. You gotta be cool and a little cute. She looked furious as I walked off. Why is everyone in this animated story so fucking triggered over every little exchange of insults? Like, calm the fuck down, it's not that deep. That day, I was waiting for my bus outside school. A car stopped in front of me and the backseat window opened. Come on, Noor, get in, I'll drop you home. No thanks, I'd rather stay on this spot the rest of my life. Oh, you're hurting me, babe. I know it may look like a jerk, but trust me, I'm not one. Newly single male student being an arrogant little shit cliche. He literally stood there for 20 minutes, and when I realized the bus wasn't coming, I gave in. Imagine being so desperate that you beg a girl to let you drive her home for 20 fucking minutes. That is gonna be one awkward fucking car ride. Just this once. When we reached home, he got out first and opened the door for me.
and then he pulled me close and kissed me. How the hell did that work? He was just standing behind the car door waiting for you to exit and all of a sudden you're in front of the car and he's behind you pulling you towards him and kissing you. Eric's as much of a mess as this animation is. What the what? I pushed him away, but he just smirked. How dare you do that? Easy there, princess. It was just a kiss, was it your first? I was so mad at him, but I didn't want to create a scene in front of my house, so I let him leave unscratched. But when I entered my home, I saw both my parents standing near the window looking shocked. I thought I was going to be grounded for life. But when I told them how the loser just kissed me out of nowhere, they calmed down and told me to be careful. What? Why did you even have to explain this to your parents and why were they angry? If they saw the kiss, they would have seen you pushing Eric away and confronting him about it a moment later. So they would have been aware that you didn't want that to happen, at which point they wouldn't have reacted so ignorantly. This whole story doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? The next day at school, the campaigning for the student council election began. I'd made all my posters and left them to dry in the art room. But when I got there, I saw they were all trashed. Of course it was that witch. I could almost cry. As I frantically started all over, I felt a gentle hand on my shoulder. And I turned to see Damien. Hey, you look like you could use some help. May I? Hey, are you okay? Did you hit your head? Do you feel dizzy? What a surprise. Damien's accent completely changed. Oh, just go away, Damien. Yeah, Pat's a big fat jerk. What did you just say, you fat phobic pig? Shame on you. And she's wrecked all my hard work, but I can fix it on my own. I need a friend, not a knight in shining armor. Just give me a chance to explain, okay? I never thought you're weak. I just thought you're new around here and I was only looking out for you. But I'm sorry about how I did it. Can we be friends again, please? How could I not melt at that adorable smile? Um, are you schizophrenic, Noah? When in this scene was Damien ever smiling? I gave him a hug and he jumped right into helping me out. He only smiled when you gave him that hug. We made a lot of posters and hung them all around the school. But just as I was getting one up on the wall, my foot slipped. And I almost fell to the ground when someone caught me mid-air. Hitic! Okay, this is just getting more and more ridiculous now. What the hell? Gotcha. Straight from heaven into my arms, gorgeous. Before I could even say anything, Damien pushed him away roughly. Get away from her before I punch out all your teeth, Eric. Whoa, I'd never seen Damien getting so mad before. Was he jealous? Two male students fighting over a girl cliche. Eric walked off with a smirk. But later that day, as I walked back to the art room to put away some stuff, I stopped when I saw Pat and Eric inside, and they were talking about me. Babe, I swear, I was so sure Nora's parents saw me kiss her. I thought they'd ground her for a few weeks and she wouldn't be able to run for the election. Honestly, what a stupid scheme in the first place. How was he gonna know they'd do that? He doesn't know her parents. But I don't know why it didn't work. It didn't work because you're a moron. Try harder. We need to do something big to get her butt kicked out of school. I just can't stand that brown-skinned curry girl. O M. Gee, these guys were such jerks! That is one family-friendly way of calling someone racist. What the hell? Okay, so the rest of this video is just cliche after cliche after cliche, which I'm not going to burden you with, but all you have to know is Eric and Pat are expelled and Noor and Damien end up together like that is a surprise to anyone. Also, Noor ends up as president of the student council. So we've got this typical ending where the protagonist just gains everything while the antagonist or the antagonists lose everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Don't forget to comment on future video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you next time. Good bye.